We've just finished up testing the new YZ450F, new 2025 model. Uh, the 2023 I was lucky enough to test and they really made such huge improvements on that machine. Proven to be arguably the leading 450 out the box that's been out there, winning all, most of the, the shootouts. And it's proven to be um, an extremely dominant machine. So um, with, with the added significant changes they've made, it actually made the bike even, even better. Um, so we're lucky enough to test that out today. And uh, I must say they, they, they really made those small differences that actually uh, that made quite a big difference to the, to the feel of the new bike. It was so cool with this, they brought out the 2024 model, which is the same as the 2023, so I could really feel the differences of, uh, of, of the changes that they had made. Um, straight away what I'd felt is the power curve felt a whole lot smoother. I mean, they've, the Yamaha has always been such a fast bike, um, and I feel like with the new 2025 model, it just seemed like a smoother power all the way through. Um, like the way the power delivered, it was a little bit more controllable, but it never seemed to run out. There was so much power the whole way through the, through the gears, so there was no lack of power, but I felt like it delivered a little bit smoother, which made the bike a little bit easier to ride. Um, along with that, they updated the clutch, which keep the clutch stays a little bit cooler than the previous model. And what I found with that is it was a lot more predictable and smoother the whole way through. So um, it was, the, the other one seemed a little bit, to be a little bit more jumpy than this, and it just this felt smoother and lighter. Um, and I really liked the feel of that. So that, along with the, the smoother power curve, made the bike extremely predictable and easy to ride. Another huge difference that I felt, and I felt this was probably the biggest one, was the suspension change. Um, they actually made, they changed the forks and the shock. So with the forks, they actually made it a little bit more rigid. Um, and then what that did, is it kind of kept the front end feeling a little bit higher. But that didn't take away from the plush feeling that the forks have. I felt like the bike was, um, I, I could trust a little bit more coming down the fast heels and when it got really bumpy coming up to the corners, the bike would hold up a lot better and not go through the stroke. Um, but it also felt extremely plush, it didn't feel harsh. So I really enjoyed that front end feel. And then when it came to the back, they added a new linkage. Um, and with this new linkage, it felt like the bike tracked a lot better coming out the corners. So when really getting that power to the ground, along with the power curve being a lot smoother, you could feel your traction a lot better and it was easier to keep the wheels in the right placement. So it just kept the bike a bit more of a predictable feel, um, but you could definitely feel with that new linkage with the shock settings, how much better the bike tracked coming out of the corners. Another change which you wouldn't think would actually make a big difference, but I could actually really feel it when I was riding, they moved the throttle out a little bit further. So what that did was when you're riding the, the previous bike, you could almost feel your hands scraping against the, um, against the throttle tube a little bit. But now that it moved away a little bit more, it made the throttle feel a whole lot smoother and it actually was a little bit easier on, on your hands. So another change they made, they actually changed the engine mount. Um, what they did is they made it a little bit more rigid, which gave the bike a little bit more uh, feel, like front end feel coming through the bumps which made it feel a little bit more stable, as well as a little bit more predictable coming into the corners. So you could definitely feel this, uh, that the new bike um, had a little bit more stability, um, and that was added to the, to the chassis mount changes. And then they also changed the foot peg. And um, what I felt with that, they changed the foot peg position, which made it easier to clamp the bike and, and better feel through your feet with the pegs, which actually makes a really big difference. So you could really predict where your feet were on the bike and um, could clamp the bike a little bit harder. So uh, that, that was also a noticeable change that they made with the new model. So overall, I like that they just made slight changes to the bike, which actually made quite a significant feel. Um, just with, the, with the, like I said before, they had such a winning bike previously as it was. They made a huge improvement with the 23. So um, with this new 25, just those little changes actually really made a big difference and an overall more comfortable feel. So um, I was really impressed with the overall, uh, the overall bike and uh, it's going to be even more competitive this year. So thanks again to Yamaha and Moto Online for having us out here. Um, been another epic day testing this new machine.